this with me. So, if you have any negative feelings right now, or let's say, let's say, let's say we can conjure, let's say, let's, let's, let's conjure this up actually. Okay. So, so I want you all to tune in to, um, first this sense, notice consciousness. Okay. So all of us, let's be aware now. All right. So now we're aware again. We're all aware. Okay. So close your eyes and just notice the awakeness, the presence of, of awareness itself. Okay. Be aware. Be aware. All right, so now become aware of the of the body. So feel your whole body. And sense the awakeness of the body itself. Sense the aliveness of, of the body. You're still aware. Now, if you can, I want you to, to, to generate or tune into this, this feeling of being a seeker. So that feeling of wanting, that feeling of reaching, if it's there. Like for me, I'm remembering, remembering that, that pain of always reaching. And if you can, I want you to sense the aliveness of that, that pain, that, that seeking, just feel it. Feel the presence of that wanting. That wanting to be more, that wanting to get away. That wanting to be free. Feel the awakeness of that. Feel the presence of that. Be aware. Now let's see if you could feel into your humanness or whatever you conceive or experience that as. For me, Humanist would be defined as my specific flavor of personality, of uh, Ryan-ness. So for you, that just may be the sense of you. So tune into, feel, sense the aliveness, the awakeness of you. It's alive, it's awake the same way that your body is, the same way that awareness is. Feel the awakeness of pain. Okay, <clears throat> so you can open your eyes. So, if you've done enough mode two practice and you have this sense, this greater sense for awareness or you, you understand it, you're clear on it, then you find that there's no 
differentiation between where awareness begins or where awareness ends and affliction begins. Where awareness ends and the pain begins. The pain is happening. Pain is existent within awareness and the pain itself has this that same awakeness to it. So the way to deal with your humanness is to deeply feel the humanness. So the resistance, and there's a resistance to feeling that. So, you know, feel that as well. It's something to work with. Like, it's not like this thing where I just say it and suddenly it just poofs, right? But gradually make it a part of your practice to, um, to feel more of the human emotions and the human frustrations and the difficulties that you're having uh, just very directly. Yeah. Of course, there's ways to work with it. Like, I often recommend feeding your demons to people from Siltrum Allium, IFS. There's things to work with the, shadow, with the shadow material, with our personality, and explore that. But the most basic thing I tell people to do is actually just give time for your feelings. Give your feelings, your humanness, permission to exist. And by giving a thing permission to be there, there's automatically this uh, separation in a way from it. You get some space and that space is useful. That space helps, right? That space can help you look at the humanness, turn it around, feel it in different ways and thereby learning from it. Yeah. There's resistance to the there's resistance to the human condition and a preference for spirituality and awakening because we still see these two things as separate and as different. As long as spirituality exists to you, you'll hate the world. <laughs> as long as the mystical is like this real 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 thing that I make my whole life about as long for as long as I do that, I will always have this bad taste in my mouth about this planet. So, but once you take a, <laughs> you blast your spirituality into a bunch of pieces, you realize that the whole display is awake. Yeah. The whole display is awake. Um, but yeah, feel more okay yeah so like when the mental stuff comes up like a desire that maybe i'm not wanting to have or the seeking comes in like so there's body sensations that come but when it's like the mental aspect is it like what i just let the thoughts play out and yeah. just watch them yeah yeah just surrender okay. I just surrender, okay. just just let it be, just just relax. Just relax. Yeah. Because the the reaching is happening from some deeper structure, so that needs to be that ha would have to be addressed through like some feeding your demons process or some other thing that you're doing or uh, some investigation. You know, there there may be reasons, there may be things that happen in your life that are at cause for why we always reach and hold on to things. So that's important to look at, right? But I'm saying in the arising of it, when it's happening, um, just relax and feel that that seeking. Okay. Yeah, it's the fact Thanks. that your it's the fact that your attention is totally in it. That's why you suffer from it. But if you actually like become aware and you and you feel it, this is what I mean by you can drink fear. But you can only drink fear. You can only drink anxiety if you're aware. So mm -hmm. that's why you meditate. Okay. You become more aware. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Also, by the way, if anyone has particulars of things that you know can't be discussed in here, just just email me. Yeah, we can talk. And we can talk about it over email. Uh, Yaz, Yasmin. Uh, hi, Ryan. I'm Kakao, Jasmine's friend. Uh, I have a question to you. 
I feel I, currently I'm expe I'm experiencing this thing where my attention is very scattered. I, it's all over the place, and I want to focus. And sometimes I can, but sometimes I just can't focus because my attention is all over the place. And I wonder, what is your advice for being able to focus? Uh, relax first. So. The, uh, the the thing the thing with focus is that sometimes it's it's uh, too premature of a step like first we just need to calm down so first we need to really really relax and there's different ways to do that um, body scanning is one particular way like you just feel the different parts of your body so you feel your head you feel your face you feel that for 30 seconds or a minute and then you feel your neck and then you just go down through the body so that's one there's many approaches to relaxation but the thing with focus too is that focus or your attention is a muscle so the arising of experience is not is not produced but your capacity for attention your capacity to stay with something from one moment to the next, that is a muscle. So the reason that it's difficult to focus is because it's likely that that muscle is atrophied. Like, I mean, a, a question is, for example, how many minutes a day do you spend like keeping your attention on one thing every day? Um, it feels like I have the moments when I get into what I want to focus and then I can really deep focus and stay in that task or whatever I'm doing for hours. But it takes time for me to enter. It feels like a state of flow. Yeah. And when I'm not in that state, I, I have a lot of energy. So it feels like my energy is all over the place. And then when I enter, I enter and then I can focus for a long time. But right. there are days that I can't, and I can go like a couple of days without finding that state, and then I get anxious because I'm not focusing on the things I should be focusing. But I am able to focus. I just not able to control. Like now, I want to focus, and it just doesn't come like whenever I want it to. Yeah, so that's what the developing. Do you, Do you meditate every day? Not every day, okay. but. Yeah, so, so developing a daily meditation practice where you're intentionally and for like 30 minutes a day, you're like surrendered and you're just aware, that will help immensely. Like if, like if there's not, if you meditate like once or twice a week, there's still benefit, right? Of course, there's still benefit. But you can see it like this. Um, imagine your mind is like a glass of water or a bottle of water and there's all this sand in the bottle of water. So if I shake the bottle of water up, you can't see through the water at all. It's just dirt in the water. So what you do when you meditate is you just set down the bottle and you just leave it there and then things start to settle and you become clear, right? So every day, most of us are in this state where the bottle is like totally shaken and that's just like our normal state that we're used to. And so then you get these moments of clarity where you're like super focused and it's all good. But for the most part, it's like like this. So by developing a regular meditation practice, you have more time where you get more of this clear water. It's, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be anything special or anything like mystical. It's just that you're more present for what is happening in your life. You're more here instead of going into so many things like the immediate fruit of meditation the immediate fruit of practice is you're more here you're more aware you're more present the reason we feel like life is getting us by is because it actually is we're almost never to we're almost never attentive to what's happening we're always like in our phones or you know thinking about this and thinking about that so the idea is through your meditation you gradually become more present. And as a result of that, also um, the ability to be focused or the ability to um, be more attentive to what you want to be attentive to becomes accessible. The other thing to consider too is that um, 
you may you may just have too much that you're doing or too many distractions in your life in your in your daily life yeah like yeah there could just be the sense of overwhelm you know there's just too much going on so to the best of your ability if you can reduce the amount that you're doing reduce the amount of information that you're taking in and try to simplify things yeah less less is less is more so thank you very much yeah uh we got time for one more and elizabeth Hi, Ryan. Hi. It's my first time here. It's a pleasure to listen to you. It's just wonderful. I felt your heart. It was beautiful. I'm happy to so, have you. <laughs> thank you. My reaction is that when you're talking about this reaching out, this grabbing, my first thought was it was like this mind energy. But then the energy went straight out to the gut. And then I felt, oh, so this reaching out, this grabbing is coming from the gut. And I wonder if you can speak on that. It's interesting. Um, maybe you're, you're more, you have more of the empath or like energetic type of configuration. Um, because for me, I, I experienced that reaching as, I mean, if I was to locate it as a space or locate it as a formation it would really be like coming from here so mm -hmm. <clears throat> i've never experienced it down from my gut but it may just mean that for you and your structure um that's where it's coming from like it's that as a that as an energetic formation is like housed in those lower chakra areas but yeah it was surprising because like this is a mental energy, it is reaching out, and then the energy is set and straight to the gut, like this. It's like also the. Field. It's also that you could be experiencing different forms of reaching, right? Mm. Yeah, like the reaching from down here, it may be more of the. It may be more of the primal reaching, the the will to survive, and the reaching mm, that the, and, and the reaching that happens up here is more like the intellectual reaching for thoughts and ideas so. yes that makes sense yeah. beautiful thank you very much all right all right okay so i'll explain the meditation this will be pleasant uh i just want you to be happy <laughs> that's that that is the essence of this i just want you to be happy for the next 30 minutes i just want you to be happy and the more happy you allow yourself to be the more that things will fall to the wayside and for um uh yasmin's friend i'm sorry that your name's not there so i can't see it but um to give yourself more time to be happy like to smile and to just sit in your smile or to do things that you really love and enjoy this will help calm the overwhelm it'll help you become more attentive more present why because the mind likes to stay with things that are pleasant so you give it a pleasantness that's not tied to any conditions the inherent pleasantness of letting go for example it's not tied to a person you just really you're just relaxing you're letting go you smile you feel happy it's free it's free happiness all you have to do is smile it's incredible so that's what we're going to do today all right so everyone just just listen to my guidance you don't need to um yeah there's no there's no wrong or right way to do this today okay you just you just go along with it and and be open you can all get in your your meditation postures now okay
So let's close our eyes, everyone. We're going to spend the first two or three minutes in silence. So for now, just arrive. Feel your body sitting in the chair. It's Relax, there's nothing you need to do yet. Aware. Aware. Relax, release all the muscles in the stomach. So let the stomach, the gut hang forth. You know, for the ladies that may be uncomfortable, allow it to happen. Really relax your stomach. Notice your body breathing. Let your thoughts, let your feelings be. Give them permission to be exactly as they are. Give resistance permission if it's there. So smile slightly, a 
or more than slightly just depends on on you you gonna sit with this subtle smile for the majority of the sit Feel the joy from the smile. Feel the little happiness. Feeling the smile, aware of the smile, aware of the happiness. Relax and just gently stay with it. The mind, attention may wander. If it does, just smile again. aware aware Feeling the smile, allowing the body to breathe naturally. Notice the in-breath, happy. Notice the out-breath, happy. Smiling on the inhalation, smiling on the exhalation. Whether it's just a little happiness, barely any happiness, or even no happiness, just smile. Smiling as the body breathes in and out.
let's bring our smile down from the face to the heart you feel that your heart your chest is one big smile if using visualization helps by all means you can use it to get the feeling rolling Feel as if you were smiling from the chest, smiling from the heart, soft, gentle glow. sincerely wish may all beings be happy and include yourself in all beings Say this internally, may all beings be happy. Intend it. As you would a prayer. May all beings be safe. You can allow any images to play out in the mind's eye. Continue to feel the loving smile from the heart. All beings be healthy. May all beings be free from suffering. As the body breathes in, feeling love, feeling a smile from the heart. The body breathes out, feeling love, feeling the smile from the heart. Sincerely wish may all beings awaken.
Just bask in this smile from the chest. Raise your hands with your palms facing outward at the level of the chest. You can open your eyes to see what I'm doing for a moment and close them. <laughs> 